This is a short descriptive video about a Copal flip alarm clock, the model 229. And um, this clock has a not a day date function, it has a day function, so it shows the day of the week. And looking at the display of the clock here, where it shows the day of the week, it's kind of a giveaway. This clock comes from Japan, so it shows the days of the week in Japanese. I'll leave it up to you to. Um, uh, find uh, um, which which sign is which day. If I'm not mistaken, this should be Saturday, but don't hold me to that. I could be wrong there. It's a 12-hour clock, so here it shows either AM or PM, and it is 60 hertz. Normally, um, clocks from Japan, these clocks from Japan, they can have a switch for 50 to 60 hertz. Uh, however, the modern disc clock when I got it in was dead and beyond repair, so I needed to replace it with another motor. Um, I rebuilt a gearbox um, with an American coil, a US coil, and um, that means it doesn't have a switch. It's just set to 60 hertz. It has a 60 hertz gearbox, so it runs on a 100 to 120 volts, 60 hertz. The case when I got it was very yellowed and um, well as you can kind of see I worked my magic there it's super shiny and um, super white bright white which is a gorgeous color for this clock if you ask me um, other than that it's in a um, very good um, working condition let me see if I can that, that's the alarm for you that will wake you up uh, so here's a small window where you can see the flywheel of the motor spin um, I know it's kind of mesmerizing to look at. It doesn't have any other function really than to show you that the clock is actually working. Um, cosmetically, it's in a super good condition. Unfortunately, um, which is a lot, it happens a lot with these clocks. It's a, which is the case uh, with a lot of these clocks, is that these uh, this this bezel here, this this ledge is very thin and gets a bit brittle over the time over time it was 100 percent okay when i got the clock in when i was working on it there was a very small chip here that kind of um gave way broke off i had the chip so i considered leaving it off you know just to so kind of like a, the the battle scar that it had um but since i had it i did try gluing it on and it actually looks nicer with it glued on you can when you look really close you can see it otherwise you wouldn't even notice it so um, as far as I'm concerned, that, that's a that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, the gear, the motor was is fully um, um, reconditioned, uh, lubricated. Um, it got a new cable, got a new plug. The wiring on the inside and the light and the resistor have all been replaced. Case was cleaned on the inside, polished on the outside, and brightened on the outside as well. So it's bright white. It's in really, really, really good condition, and it will be for sale on either flipaclock.com or my Etsy shop called Flip Clock. Um, that's it. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Thank you for watching.